Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do five different ways of using the linear light blend mode. So first of all, simplest one is just go to adjustments and curves and set the blend mode to linear light. You get a very strong contrast effect. So if we turn the opacity of that down until it looks about reasonable, so here this is down to 30%. And here we've got quite a nice contrast. Look at this before and afterwards. It's just made it a bit punchier. And you can add any final kind of tweaks to this with the curves. There we go. Okay, next one is a classic, which is the sharpening. So if I go to Live Filters, High Pass Sharpen, and it puts this on, and then I turn the radius up. I'll go quite a way on this. I normally stick to about, around about one pixel, but this is to show the effect more. If I zoom into this area here, notice this is colour here. If I go all the way down, you won't see it so much, but if you go to higher radius, you'll see this kind of effect colour coming through. So now if I go to the blend mode here and put it to linear light, which is a common sharpening one, you see this area here looks rather bright, and this is where that colour was coming through. So I click on the monochrome, and it goes back to being normal. But that use of linear light there is probably better than some of the other blend modes which you can use. So that's the one I always use. And I usually go around about one pixel. What you can also do is go down to very low, Go to here and hit Control J to duplicate it, even several times, and you get a kind of sharper effect here. But if there's any noise, that will get amplified, so be careful of that. Okay, what else can we do? If we put in a fill layer, a layer, new fill layer, and orange, yep, yeah, that'll do. And then I go the blend mode of that down to linear light. I get a very orange colour here. So this again, turn the opacity down. Secret with, with strong effects often is the opacity. So I just turn it up and I got this kind of tinting here. And if you want to limit that to say the dark to the lights, just go to the blend ranges here. And then if I pull down this here, it'll apply more to the darks. If I pull that up, pull that down, it's more to the lights, and you can always constrain it further by pulling that round or even pulling this in and out. So that's the third one. Let's change picture now. And this is, if you want to brighten up water in particular, I put on another fill layer here. Yeah, and I'll make that one white. So just use this to make it white. And again, this is kind of overdone. So let's go to the linear light and bring down the opacity to somewhere. We're looking just at the water and a way of brightening this up here. Then I'm going to put on a mask. Just click on the mask icon here. Control I to invert the mask. Then go to a paintbrush. Uh, I've got half opacity here and full softness or anything you like on that. Then painting white onto here, I just bring it back. If I want to be a bit more, I can paint in other areas like that. And it adds a glow into the water there. So before and after. That's probably a bit much there, so I can just turn down the opacity here further to suit. Yep, that's uh, that one. And the final one, let's just go back to the original here and hit Control J twice. I'll do it once first, I'll do it twice and I'll just turn off the top layer. Then this middle layer here, I set that to linear light and I get this fairly bright one here. If I want to ease up on this, go to the top one 
and set that to screen. And now it's got a far more normal one. So we take the top two there before and after. So it's another way of brightening it, but without having the overdone effect you get with 100%. And again, of course, you can adjust the uh, opacity of that. Anyway, that's it. A number of different ways of using linear light. And thank you very much for watching.